Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So we will continue our learning on Cap software for oil network modeling. All right, and in previous videos, we have completed the generate well IPRs. Now we will be focusing on generate well VLPs. Okay, and we will not create the VLP using the machine of the Cap, but we would rather import the VLP curve that we already have. Okay, so to import the VLP curves in GAP, the files must be already generated. These are saved as .vlp files. And as a part of this example, this exercise, I already have all the VLP files. So later on, I'm going to show you how to import the file so that it is connected to the GAP. All right, so to load these files, we need to double click on each well. But before that, of course, we need to close this window. Okay, so I've, you know, I've set up the rel perms and the fractional flow model for each of these wells. And as I showed you in previous video, we already generated the well IPRs. Okay, so now, Let's double click on well 1A here. Okay, and then I will go to VLP. You see here, everything is already green, except VLP, still red. So let's go to VLP. Okay, so the window looks quite simple. Here, of course, this is the directory of the well in which I saved my VLP files. This is the browse button. This is indicator invalid or valid, and then import. We are going to use this import and then turn off if unstable. This is the setting for the VLP. Or you can also force left-hand side intersection or allow left-hand side intersection for optimizer and save VLP IPR intersection much lower. Okay, and you can still neglect everything on the right side here. Okay, so now I'm going to browse my file. All right, so now we are in the folder in which I save my VLP files for my six wells. Okay, so you can see here, just like what we have in divining the wells and IPRs, you just select one and click on open button, or you can also double click. Okay, so select browse and then load the VLP for each well. That's what I do. Okay, so I've connected the file and you can see here, this is this is the address. This is the directory in which I save my VLP files. And you see the indicator becomes green. It means valid. And you can see here the VLP information. So the gap will take all the information from the VLP file generated using Prosper. Okay, so type oil producer with no leaf, sensitivity variables. We already have the sensitivity variables generated in Prosper. So Prosper, you know, execute all the sensitivity analysis and it will produce the VLP file. And then we will take the VLP file and deliver it here. So you already have the information for sensitivity variables, including liquid rate, water cut, GOR, and also manifold pressure. And we have calculated variables here, like flowing bottom hole pressure, wellhead temperature, C factor, mixture velocity, erosional velocity, maximum grain diameter, and erosion flag. We also have surface correlation, backs and brill, and vertical correlation that is used here is the petroleum experts too. Okay, very good. And then, by the way, again, in this example, in this exercise, the VLP files are provided already. I take the sample case from the gap. Okay, I'm going to click on okay first. Okay, so now you can see the red circle disappears. All right, we need to do the same thing with all of the six wells. 
all right and then to generate the vlp we need to again select the generate and generate well iprs or generate well vlps but i think i'm going to do it later now my homework or my job is to populate all of this remaining five wells with the vlp files okay so i'm going to pause my video and see you after i already connect all of the vlp files all right all right as you can see now everything good you can see the red circles disappear so now let's it's better to save okay now we will generate the vlp so we go to generate and generate vlps with prosper okay the option will then be given to either select specific wells or to generate the vlps for all the wells in this network okay so click on all you see here okay vlp generation data generate all okay generate for gap model or you know for simulator and we can select any of this well or you can select them all together oh sorry before doing generate here you need to go to data first okay so click on this data button all right here in generate data you can see we have well a well 1a well 1b with all of this you know liquid rate manifold gor and water cut okay all right and in the gor values the value of 800 scf per stb for the wells connected to reservoir a and for wells connected to reservoir b we have gor of 500 scf for stb these values are entered these values are equal to actually solution gor of the two fluids from each reservoir and as the reservoirs are operating both above the bubble point pressure in our case the producing gor will be equal to the solution gor therefore it is useful to enter directly those values in the vlps to avoid any interpolation okay so the 800 for reservoir a and 500 for reservoir b are the solution gors the real solution GORs of these two wells. And as the reservoirs are now operating above the bubble point pressure, of course, the producing GOR will be the same with the solution GOR. So later on, you can validate whether the resulting GOR by the gap is actually the same with the solution GOR. Okay, so it's very good to always review the generate data. Okay, so after that, select OK and press on Generate button. At the end of the calculation, the program will have generated a VLP file, a .VLP file for each well that contains all of the VLP curves and the file is transferred to the VLP section of the well summary screen. Okay, and in order to check the generated leaf curve, we need to access again the well summary screen by double clicking on the well and then enter the VLP section. Okay, this will lead to the VLP description. All right, but you need to be careful. Sometimes the gap can crash after you click on generate. So I hope we can go through everything here without having a crash. So let's see, I'm going to press the generate button okay so now the generation have been completed so now let's see what happens in this case i'm going to open well 3a and then click on inspect okay so now you can see the tpd table has been generated so now you can see liquid rate water cut gor manifold this is the sensitivity data and we already have the calculated data the liquid rate, flowing bottom hole pressure, and flowing wellhead temperature. 
Okay, you can also plot. So this is the VLP for well 3A. Okay, so in the screen, we can verify that the dot VLP has been created, which contains the generated VLP curve. Okay, you can again select inspect and then plot to verify the quality of the curves. Okay, so if the VLP appear poor, then by the way, so, sorry. So the VLP curve should always be smooth and continuous. These continuous VLPs are not representative of reality and lead to poor quality derivative, which can create problems for the gap solver. If the VLPs appear poor, then it could be either because the multiphase flow correlation which has been selected, or it may be that the PROSPER file needs to be reviewed to understand what may be causing the effect. Okay, so I think that's all. Once again, in this video, we are focusing on, you know, sorry. In this video, we are focusing on generating the VLPs for all wells and validate or review the resulting VLPs after we generate in, in the gap, we review the, the table and also the plot. So I am going to close it now. In the next video, we are going to do model validation to QC, to quality control the wells. Until then, thank you so much and see you.